Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding's Foil Fridays. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new 2021 Neil Pride HP Glide Foil. That's HP stands for high performance and we're really excited about these foils so let's take a look. So if you watched my video on the 2019 and 2020 Neil Pride Glide Surf Foil, um, you know I'm a huge fan of these foils. I think it's really hard to beat, you know, the bang you get for your buck with these foils. They're some of the more affordable foils on the market, but they're real lightweight. They're real stiff and durable. Um, and the performance is off the charts. You've got lots of options in terms of wing sizes, mass sizes, whatnot. Um, so I've been a huge fan of the Neil Pride system. One thing that they didn't do in previous years was real glide efficiency, high, higher speeds, um, real amplified turning performance. You know, they're just, they're built for your everyman, your, your kind of beginner to intermediate surf and sup foiler. Um, and now with winging emerging, you know, your average guy, you know, you, you, once you learn the basics, you really want that speed on top, that glide efficiency um, to take you to that next level. Or, you know, maybe you're on the glide surf before and now you're just looking for that extra bit of performance out there in the waves. Um, and the, the HP High Performance Series is going to bring that to you. Uh, so without much further ado or any more further ado here, let me take you on a quick tour of this new foil and uh, show you some cool stuff about it. And then we'll talk about, uh, you know, my kind of review on riding it. So as you can tell, this is the Glide HP aluminum series. It comes with a 70 centimeter mast. Uh, you have a choice of top plates here. Um, so this is the surf top plate. This will definitely be the most popular option for those riders. And for 2021, it is updated. Um, you can see down in here, that little fillet, a little, little extra in there rather than being flush with the plate. That just gives it a little extra rigidity, some extra durability, uh, especially on the bigger wings. You know, when you're really reefing on those, um, give you some, some extra stiffness uh, and, and durability in the mast area there. Um, Cause that was one area where last year, you know, especially people riding big wings on wind, wing, uh, excuse me, big wings on wind surfers and whatnot. Um, you had the potential to bend the mast there. Um, so that's been reinforced this year. Obviously we got a, a hot new color scheme here. It's looking good. It's really visible in the water, which is cool. And uh, yeah, I guess, you know, for the most part, it's, it's kind of the same platform. Everything is forward and backward compatible in the glide system. So that's great. If you've already got the other stuff, you can just upgrade the wings for this year uh, or choose a different mast and, and you're off to the races. So that's great. Um, but the biggest thing, you know, I would say for this new series of wings is the wing design. Um, now they, they had Kane DeWild out of uh, Maui do these wing designs. You might know him as KD Maui uh, on Instagram. He's one of the better foilers out there. I mean, the dude is amazing. Surf, wing, you name it. He really knows his stuff. He's been testing relentlessly and come up with a really amazing design you know, kind of for every rider really. I mean, beginners, you can definitely learn on this, but your advanced level riders are really gonna appreciate the performance on tap with these wings as well. As you can tell, they're slightly higher aspect than previous year. Um, the profile or the foil section here looking at the front edge is thinner and flatter, less anhedral curve. Um, so that's just going to give you more efficiency and speed. Definitely changing the, the stabilizer from that heavy anhedral down curve stabilizer, that kind of V shape um, to more flat stabilizer, thinner with some winglets on there. And that just gives you maximum turning ability. Um, how it gives you good hold in the turns, very predictable. Um, but you can still rail it on and, and bank a turn really hard. You know, your stabilizer shape uh, and, and dimensions really 
help to determine you know the ultimate ride of the foil you know if you have a different you're vastly different stabilizer on the same front wing you can have really different levels of performance um, and and the hp stabilizer pairs perfectly with these front wings you know if, if you have a previous year's version you're going to upgrade to the new front wing i would definitely recommend a stabilizer as well not that it won't work with the previous ones but you're only going to get kind of a half step of performance there so that's my two cents on that anyway um this is the 19 hp 19 it's 1850 centimeters squared so it's a big dog you know i've been using this one for light uh light wind winging and windsurfing you know really it's it's too big for surfing for the most part for me i mean maybe in the wake if you're on a really small wake um or or just really tiny waves you're just looking to glide you know without much turning performance or, or top speed could work there um in my case here i should mention this this handy dandy carrying case is included with complete foils gives you spot for your stabilizer your mast two front wings your little fuse pocket there it's a nice padded case that's included um, and you can see i have the hp 13 wing set here with it this is the smaller hp2 uh, the big brother or the little brother of the hp two and a half uh, so smaller winglets thinner smaller period um, and it's meant to go with your smaller wings but you could also pair it with a bigger wing just for a different level of performance and the hp13 is really what i'm riding in the surf most often uh, a little bit of kiting light wind uh, wake in in a good size wake if you're looking for performance there and uh, in winging obviously in higher winds it's a it's a great setup for that um, and really you know top-notch performance in good waves uh, powerful waves if you want turning performance top speed glide they are very good for that uh, now you mentioned uh, now, or now I mentioned earlier about the modularity of this foil and I, I really can't stress that enough it's a great foil it's an awesome setup how it comes as the aluminum with the 70 and you choose your wing set you know from HP 11 all the way to the what will be 23 they're gonna have a 2300 centimeter even bigger than this 19 uh, coming soon. Um, you know, personally, I, I don't have a need for that large of wing. Um, the HP 19 works well for me, you know, even down to the low teens winging. So yeah, it works great for me, but uh, heavier guys, newer riders looking to ride in light wind, it's gonna be an awesome option. Um, yeah, so the modularity of this foil, everything is plug and play. It's not, oh, okay this fuselage has to go with the smaller wing set this fuselage has to go with the larger wing set no they all use the same fuselage you can put the longer windsurf fuselage on use your same wing sets if you're a crossover rider if you're riding a longer board and just want some more stability in the pitch um, your mass sizes they have come with a 70 they also have an 80 aluminum and a 75 carbon there's no special fuselage needed for the carbon you just buy the carbon mast screw it in um, so great work on that neil pride i have ridden the carbon mast as well it's phenomenal a little lighter weight uh, than the aluminum which is cool um, and a, a little slimmer profile as it tapers down so just a little less drag but uh, for the most part you know i just ride it with the aluminum it's really durable low maintenance easy to use and still you know rather, rather lightweight compared to other foils uh, that are aluminum this size you know the wings are really extremely lightweight and everything else is is as slim as it can be while maintaining that durability so really impressed um, this glide 19 comes in at about 10 pounds um, maybe a, maybe a tad lighter i guess um, but it's uh yeah it's it's rather lightweight for a foil of this size in aluminum construction so yeah that's that's kind of the long and the short of it uh, my my other review goes into more depth with what they're doing with the way this foil goes together so jump back watch that one um, basically they're using high quality stainless steel fasteners uh, star heads m8s all around so really robust fasteners 
They're standard hardware, so if you're in a remote area where you can't easily order new hardware sets, they're pretty easy to source, just from a standard hardware supplier, which is cool. And uh, yeah, bonus, they come, they come with a really nice carrying case this year, more flavors on tap, uh, and really just expanding that Neil Pride range. Uh, expect these to be a huge hit with anybody in wake, surfing, sup, uh, windsurfing, or winging this year. Um, as I said before, you're, you're really in a league of their own in terms of price versus performance. So if you're after a great bargain foil, take a look at the Neil Pride Glide HP. Um, now, my experience with these foils, I've been riding the HP 19 and the HP 13 now um, for, uh, I don't know, a month and a half, we'll say. I uh, got a few sessions on each. I've been really excited about them. Um, I've been just chomping at the bit to get these wings since I first heard about them, I don't know, six months ago. And just like, guys, get me one, get me one, get me one, because they looked so good. Um, you know, I, I was a big fan of the Neopride Slim Medium and having more options and, and just a more refined, high performance design for this platform is amazing. It's next level good. And uh, I, I think it's really going to help a lot of people have that next level foil for a, for a better price, have that next level foil, you know, with their existing Neil Pride platform if they're ready to progress uh, or ready, you know, to go go faster, glide, glide, glide further, excuse me, um, out there winging or, or surfing or what have you. So yeah, the, uh, the 19, as I mentioned, is kind of my light wind option. It's got great low end lift. I can pump it up in almost nothing, just need a little bit of wind and uh, in a wing in my hands and it's, it's off to the races. Versus other wings this size, it is very user friendly for its performance. Um, and I think that's the key. You know, there are higher performance foils out there without question. Um, but for the 19, it is very easy to ride. It's got great low end lift and stability, uh, which is what you want in light wind situations, especially if you're a new rider and you haven't perfected you know, your pumping technique or building apparent wind yet. You know, you can cruise these things nice and low and slow and stable, um, but as you build apparent wind, they're extremely efficient. They're gonna glide through the lulls. They're gonna allow you to build those top speeds that amplify your wind speed and, and really get you the best performance out there in light winds if you're winging. Um, the 19 size is awesome buying the boat in small uh, weight conditions or if you're going two, three wakes back. Um, but really, you know, it's probably a bit much for most people out there uh, surfing or wake. You know, I, I could definitely paddleboard this on a small day though. You need a little more lift for that. So it's a good option for them as well. Um, stepping down from the 19, we'll have a 17, a 15, and then the 13. As I mentioned, I've been riding the 13 with the HP2 stabilizer uh, in higher winds for winging and in surf. Um, that's worked phenomenally. It is, again, a very user-friendly, kind of medium-high aspect wing. We'll, we'll probably call it a medium, really, but it feels high aspect because it's thin and the foil section's just so well worked out. It's fast. It's fast for its size. Um, it's, it's definitely got some great glide to help you connect those sections, to help you, you know, really get through your transitions or, or 360s or whatever you're doing um, without a lot of wing power, which is key, you know, for progressing and, and just riding in general. It's just so much easier when you can glide for days without having to worry about catching your power again and, and getting moving. You, know, you can just solve so many small mistakes with that. So yeah, can't, can't say enough about these. They're a phenomenal foil. We're going to have them here at the shop. Well, we do have them here at the shop, I should say. Um, 17s and 23s will be arriving this spring along with parts and accessories. Right now, uh, it's late February and uh, it's just complete foils right now. So if you're after a complete foil, give us a ring. Otherwise, give us a ring. We can get you set up for uh, pre-shipment in the spring here. So yeah. That's been that. If you have any comments, questions, uh, you know, anything I missed, I apologize. Put it in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. As always, you can pick up the phone, call us at the shop, jump on our live chat or email us as well. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can, get you set up with what you need. And yeah.
Thanks again for watching. This has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com and we'll see you next time.